If you're gonna build a house, you might as well have secret rooms, top secret, first time. This is our dream home that we built four years ago, and there's a lot of things that we have shown you, but we have a secret. There are four rooms that we have not showed you anywhere on the internet or told people, even people that visit our house, they don't know about these, but they're actually some of the more important rooms that our family really, really loves. I got approval from every member of the family to show these rooms. The first room belongs to Lincoln. Let's check his out. You've seen his room. He's got his golf putters in here. We're not gonna take a full tour of his room. We've got the Peloton in here that I don't know if he uses that very often. That big BYU picture that's on the wall and more golf clubs over here. So where is the secret room? Oh, the closet. Let's show you the closet. So what is his secret room? Maybe you've noticed it in our videos. We've tried to keep it out of the videos. The secret room that Lincoln has is right here. This right here, <laughs> that's a ladder. It is one of the weirdest looking ladders you've seen, but it goes upstairs to his hidden room. Let's go up the ladder. Let's show you what's inside. This is it. Welcome to hidden room number one. So once you come out, you've got the TV, you've got some shoe boxes of some other shoes that he doesn't wear that often. You've got this guy from Toy Story. I think that's one of the characters. X boxes here, all this stuff. And then those are the three comfy chairs that you sit on. And this is a heated blanket. So Lincoln has a heated blanket for when it gets cold up here. And it looks like he likes to drink water bottles. There's all of his remotes that are all lined up, some extra batteries that are there, the Wii remotes, the headphones so he can play it. And if it's loud, he's the only one that hears it. And then a nice soft BYU blanket. He has a window because this was planned. And for code, when you have a room that's up here, you do have to have a window so that if there's a fire, you can escape out the window. He's got a pretty good view. Like we can look right down into our neighbor's garage, especially when they leave it open like today. They got like a motorcycle in there. Out in the studio, Lincoln has his gaming PC where he plays like a lot of video games and he also does his homework out there and he watches like football and stuff on the dual monitors. We play a lot of Mario Kart up here and I think he's played Zelda Breath of the Wild also. And then we have squishies up here. This is where we come to squish cheesecake squishies from Japan. They're still soft. We got these so many years ago. Pink cheesecake? The girls don't get your same cheesecake, they get a better one. Yeah, they do. <laughs> uh, this one's Lincoln's favorite. Oh, what? A peach king? It's a giant peach. I feel like we need to get that. I don't even know how we got this up through that hole right there, but we did, it's up here. We offered for Lincoln to have us put it on the wall and he's like, no, it's good. But this is a really cool chill out spot. Like you can hang out here in the daytime and the nighttime. Lincoln can come up here. The only way you can get up really is by taking the ladder. So he does have some privacy up here. For room number two, we are gonna have a special guest host. That's right. The owner of room number two belongs to this girl. It's London. All right, London, let's go find your room. Show us. Okay, this can take some time. Yeah, the ladders were designed by a cabinet maker and they are pretty sketchy, like awkward, and they hurt your feet if you're not wearing shoes. Hurt if you're wearing shoes. All right, hold on, be careful. Hold on. I always worry about people climbing up and down this. All right, show us the room. Ooh, look at London's room. We have not shown her room for a very long time. Lots of Taylor Swift, lots of nice colors in here. Her bed has this little thing that goes over it. Really cool light. She even has LEDs up in the corner. Cool chandelier with seashells from the ocean, right? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, a little cute little sitting area. Another sitting over here area over here with some Taylor Swift albums, an actual record player right there. And then a beautiful window, little sitting area. And then this is her bathroom. She shares bathroom. So this is her bathroom here. And then Claire has, they share a shower and a toilet area. And then Claire has her, so Jack and Jill. And this is her setup. So she doesn't have the ladder that Lincoln has. We have actually a ladder that's a real ladder. Show us how you get up there, which is kind of nice because like we can remove it sometimes and then you're like totally hidden up there, which is cool. There she goes. Uh, Are you up there? Yep. Okay, I'm coming up here. Kind of a big guy. Can I fit in this? I haven't been up here in so long. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
This is the move. Once you get here, you gotta use some arm muscles. Good thing I go to the gym every year at least once. Oh man. And then you can do this so you don't fall down the hole. So then you stand on it and hope you don't fall through. Oh! All right, London, show us your room. Let's start in this area over here. Okay, so here we have some posters and then some lines that fall down a lot, so. Oh, look at the posters. So is this Stranger Things posters? Yeah. Yes. So no Stranger Things in your bedroom, just up here is kind of like the upside down. So you, this is the upside down. Yeah, I've got lots of posters. Oh, you've even got the flower. Those are, that's a Demogorgon, right? That flower? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, so you got a chair. And then I have this super cool pillow from England. I love London. Yeah, that's great. pretty cool. And then poster, poster, I haven't put them up yet, but I will so, someday. Else. This corner, you've got some fancy filming lights and a garbage can. This part of the room, this was part of the original plans. This was supposed to be the area, but we got lucky and our builder, Jonathan, is really, really smart. And he said, hey, our trusses go really, really high because of the high pitch on our roof. We can show you, look at our roof line with this drone shot. You can see like how steep our roof is. Well, when you do that, you have a ton of space that's up in the attic that is just empty space in between the trusses. And so Jonathan was like, how about instead of just making it this small, let's go ahead and tear out this wall right here and have additional space above her bedroom. So this, this is all the unplanned, but very smart square footage from our builder. All right, room number one, we're in it. There's the hole. This is room number two. That was the unplanned room here. All right, explain this room. What's going on in here? A lot, but it switches around usually, but right now we have a couch with a projector so you can watch movies. Oh, here. we did a video on these a long time ago. So you turn off the lights in here and then that entire wall is a movie screen. Yeah, it's very cool. And then this is this looks like an actual bed. Oh yeah, that's a bed. That's comfortable. <laughs> Do you ever sleep up here? No. That's good because there's no windows and it's not safe. That's a total fire hazard. <laughs> not safe, but. Oh, a little mirror over here, a bean bag chair. And then over here, some games. Um, these are the costumes for for when my friends come over and we like to have parties. <laughs> Not really. Dress up parties? No, we like we like perform the Aeros for and stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. Like a bunch of costumes in here. Yeah. Super fun. Taylor Swift, I was not as big of a fan of hers until the Eras tour and I got to see what London and all of her friends, kind of the impact that that's made on them and how much fun they've had throughout all this. And so I've become a fan of Taylor Swift. I wouldn't say I'm a certified Swifty, but I'm definitely a fan of her music and the way that she does things. This room's amazing. I will say the last time I was up here, it was over a year ago and she was in a doll phase and there were doll houses and Barbies. It was a couple of years ago. And this place, you could barely walk. There was so much stuff. So it's amazing how it's changed over the years. And it's so cool to have like another bedroom above your bedroom that nobody knows about. Secret room number two. How would you rate this out of 10? I rate it probably like a, hmm, that's hard. Higher or lower than Lincoln's? Probably a little bit higher because it's more fun in here, but yeah. it could have been, I could have added more flavor also, but Ooh. I think it ha has more flavor than Lincoln's. Yeah, maybe like a seven. Okay, secret room number two. We've got two more rooms to look at. She comes out of this like a pro. <laughs> it's hard to do with shoes on. <laughs> so goodbye to London's room. The next room is, surprise, surprise, another one of our kids' rooms, which is Claire's room. So the third hidden room, by the way, this is Claire's room. It looks amazing. You're probably only seeing a mirror right now. Come to this side, London. Okay, this is a better angle. This is Claire's room. She's done a great job at designing her bookshelf. She loves these old style books that are on here. And then she also has these little mice that we bought her when she's a little girl and she's held on to them. We bought them in Paris for her. And then this is a Louis Vuitton scarf that we got framed and we put it in here and it's pink and it's very, very nice. Um, she does a good job. She's very organized, very clean. She likes to have her room clean. She crochets things all the time, which yeah, there's, you see a bunch of yarn over here and like little tiny hearts that she crocheted and flowers that she crocheted. So she's really, really creative and just likes to figure things out. So to her room, come on this way. This is the bathroom. We showed you the Jack and Jill bathroom earlier. Um, this is like the actual toilet room and shower. We've shown this in some videos before. This is no surprise, but nice room. Very echoey. Echo. Echo. Okay. Go back. So Claire's room, Katy Perry, I have the tiger. That's a lie. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, I get distracted easily. This is her setup. I gotta show you this. It's a small space. Here we go into her closet. I'm just gonna show you this. Look at these guys, that's Loki. She loves Marvel movies. We watched all of them together. And so she does have a lot of Marvel stuff. Boom. There is the hole in the ceiling. She does have a nice ladder that goes up, unlike London, but also the gap is really, really odd in between here. It's not natural, the steps that you take to put your feet in there. Sneak peek. Ooh, it looks so good. Okay, we're going up Claire's ladder. Ouch, it hurts. It's like the edges, are, it's almost like they're steel edges and they're sharp and they hurt you as you climb up. Okay, we're climbing up into a room. You probably see it now. It is happy and light. I'm gonna put this down. Ugh. London, come on up. Be careful, the ladder is terrible. <laughs> When's the last time you've been up here? Probably like a week ago. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I love this picture. We had a photo shoot when she was a little girl. So adorable. I love that she has that in here. Welcome to secret room number three. This belongs to our daughter, Claire. This is above the bathroom closet right here. She's got pictures. Oh, look at that. There's a picture of me throwing London in the air. Look how happy you are. Do you like that? Do you like it when I throw you in the air? Do you want me to do that now? No. <laughs> is that you too? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, there's Whitney. Oh, it's cute. There's Stephanie, so happy. Oh, look at you guys. There's so many pictures. <laughs> Lincoln's even in here. He's a little. I have not seen this in a long time. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I didn't know she had this. Balloons from her birthday every year. Did you know this, London? 13 years old. 14 year old balloon. 15 year old. She's got a squishy, what do you even call this? A squishy shrine, squishy shrine. Right? I just want to lean against these squishies. They're so soft and happy. This is a happy place. All right, the other side. Over here on this side, we've got a very pretty lamp with feathers, little fake plants. Her own little Christmas tree with ornaments on it. Like how cute is that and a little Christmas doggy. She's gone to lots of shows. We went to London, we went to some Broadway shows and she's got the little pins from each one of those. So that's really cool. She said I could show this, she did. I'm not gonna turn the lights on. Over in this area, it's a little messy. She just kind of throws stuff over there. So. She has an entire space over here that's just as big as her bedroom is down below. Room number three, super, super special. And I love that she has this place. Now as the kids grow up, it's a little sad. They're getting older. They don't maybe need their little secret room anymore. And like their little, their little hidden spot that has all the cute things in it. They'll still have some things, but it's like, I don't know, as a parent with our kids, like literally going off to college soon, it's wild. It's a little nostalgic. I just love these kids and I love their creativity and how fun they are and how unique and individual they all are. Um, this is the worst ladder. Good job. <sighs> I did it, I survived. All right, let's go to the last room. What last room? Dad, what last room? Mom and I is hidden last room. What? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, now we're gonna go to the room that not even London knows about. The last hidden room in our house. What? It's the hidden room for mom and I. No, you don't have one. Is Get it? ready, let's go. I don't believe you. Are you lying? You're lying. We have one more room. No, you don't, because that's where you hide the presents, but you don't hide them in there. Welcome to the last secret room. This is our bonus room upstairs. We've got beds that are hidden in the walls. That's not the secret thing. This is just a nice, happy place where we can hang out and watch shows. We've kind of shown this secret room before, but it was early on in the process. Way, way, way back before when we were framing this house, we put in all these cables and we built in the entertainment stuff and like the security and everything. Well, at the time we didn't know where we were going to put that stuff, but turns out Jonathan also noticed that the height of the ceilings and the trusses allowed for extra space. So he's like, do you want some storage? So we decided if it's our security cameras, if it's like all our technology, we might as well tuck it away and have it a little bit hidden away. Plus who wants to see that stuff anyway? So we just built it just right here. So this is the secret room. Oh, do you want to come in? So this is secret room number four inside of our house. It's pretty good size. It has a painting room here. This is where painting acrylics happen. Oh, and you have a nice view of our attic and we store stuff in there. Top secret things get hidden inside of here because it's the secret room behind the secret room. Now it's really just like our air conditioning, extra things that we need to store. It's really not very exciting inside of there. It's basically just a storage room. And then of course we have the mega wall of technology. Different TVs, different video cameras, all the lights throughout the house, all of the, I don't know, all the amplifiers for the speakers are all on here. Like this thing is massive. This thing runs all the time and it gets so dang hot in here that we had to buy an air conditioner 
from Amazon that we put in here just temporarily. And then in the summertime, we run this to cool the room down. It's not good for tech to have the heat. Ceiling's very low. This isn't really a room where people are gonna hang out other than sometimes to paint. But this is our little hidden room and it's kind of cool. Just tuck that stuff away and I love the wall the way that it is. Once we decided that we are gonna do like a hidden wall, we didn't show this anymore in the videos. We haven't published any videos that show this door open or us going into that room. So we've shown the tech, we've shown those servers, but we've never shown like, oh, it's behind this secret wall if you go upstairs. So that's why that's our fourth room in the house that's hidden. Before you move into a new house that you build, you have to get a certificate of occupancy and it's the final paperwork that says you're allowed to occupy this home and live in it. Well, the code people from the city they said that we couldn't have this additional big old room up here because it didn't have a window like in Lincoln's room. So what we did, which was really nice, is that we had drywall up blocking that room, even though we built it. They gave us a certificate of occupancy and then we cut the hole and uh, finished the room and we're set. So I'm not sure if the city really likes us having an additional room up here, but so what? Four rooms you never knew existed inside of our house, or maybe you saw the clues in the videos, but let me know in the comments below, what do you think about the different rooms that we have? Was that a good addition to the house? Is it creative? What could we have done differently with the ladders? Because the ladder situation is a little bit annoying, but overall, really cool. That's uh, the last four rooms that you've never seen inside of our house, so you've kind of seen it all. Thanks for watching, we'll see you. But it's so good. It's so good. These are just ones. That's for a video I made. They're not 10,000, it was for a TikTok I did. Which by the way, side note, there was a big controversy with a YouTube channel called SS Sniper Wolf and Jax Films over the last couple of months about her stealing content. This video of our squishies, she actually stole content from our video and posted it on there. I brought it up to YouTube and I'm like, hey, there, this big channel's using our content. If you go down and look in the video, she doesn't put a link to the people that she used their content. Stolen is a harsh word, but she reacts to their content. But for her video that has like eight or nine million views with our squishies, she talked about like 10 other channels and ours is actually linked in the description. So YouTube talked to her, I guess, and changed that. So now whenever I think of this, I think of the drama and I'm like, how are we kind of tied to that? Like we have a little bit of insight, kind of interesting. All right, that's a side note for you that are diehard YouTube fans, you will know what I'm talking about, but never knew when a good place to say it would be. But turns out the hidden room is the place.